Hi guys, in this video, I am going to discuss what merge a statement in Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. So, about the merge statement, so we can use merge command to perform insert, update, and delete in a single command. So, by using merge statement, so we can perform insert, update, and delete operation in Microsoft SQL Server. So, first, I am going to show you about my source table. So this is the source table record here. So total numbers of rows are 147. And here this is the target table records. So right here 147. So in source and target table, the records are same, values are same. Now here after I written this all query to save some time. So add here to perform insert update delete operation so we have to use merge statement so add here the table name is src and here next is tct so merge tct as t1 and here using src so there is a one table src as s so t is the alias of tct s is the alias of src now here i used on clause so on clause is using add here for or checking the condition so t dot id equal to s dot id so if the id is a match so see add here in both table so see add here id value 147 147 so when that match okay so when that match add here so that will do update operation so if the in if id match if any modification in the source so that source value uh, will load into the target so first there are no any modification id match but there are no any modification inside the name so add here is called json it's all are same so it will update simply it will simply insert the record here now when not match so when id is not match so by then it will do the insert operation and next is when not match by source then that will do the delete operation. So if I am going to execute to this query, so I have three rows affected. So let's see the target 147 and here source 147. Now here after first time going to show you about to or insert operation so add here so first I'm going to insert the value inside or source table src table so add here insert into src src value is going to enter so in src the id name 5 is not there so add here I'm going to insert in src 5 and nikki so one rows affected now here so 1 4 5 7 so add here about the insert operation so see 5 not inside here this is the condition t1 dot id so t1 dot id equal to s1 dot id so t1 id add here 147 and about to or s so s id is at here 1 4 5 7 so at one condition 5 is not match so at here when not match by target then or uh, insert id name values s1 dot id s1 dot name now let's execute that so see at here 4 rows affected now let's see the record so see at here 5 and nikki loaded into the target so this is about insert operation so when the value is not match by target then that will do the insert operation so insert operation id5 and name nikki and here values this one 5 and nikki that loaded into the target so now if you check the record inside source and target so see the values are 
to start saying. So add here 1, 4, 5, 7, 1, 4, 5, 7. Now here after I am going to show you about to update operation. So add here in source I am going to do some modification. So let's check that. So add here in source. So this is the source src dbo.src now here I am going to change the name escort to escort1 so let's go to add here execute to this query see add here in source or oh, the name I just updated escort1 and in target this is the uh, escort and this on so about the update operation so update when match so see at here id id both are match now here after when the match then see it s1 dot name so s1 dot name is the escort so this value go to uh, t1 dot name so this escort go to here at this place now let's execute and check that one so for those affected now here going to in execute so see or oh, this is caught here it's loaded at this point so this is the way we can update now here after when not match by source then or delete so add here when add here i'm going to do some modification in the target table so going to add the values so in target table going to add insert into dct8 casa okay so i just inserted now see the records so in target table so this is the record inside source 1457 and here in target 1457 so when add here about to target table so about to delete operation when not match by source so see at here 8 it's not matching at this point in the source okay then that will do the delete operation so let's execute this query so 5 rows affected now check the record inside source and target so see at here in or tct or uh, the value 8 and CASA it's uh, deleted so this is the use of merge operation we can perform insert update and delete operation so add a delete operation is the optional part if you want then here you can give or you want give no any problem now so without delete operation so you have to remove this part so Add here merge tzt t1 alias src table s alias. So this is the condition that to check the id. So id id that check when match then uh, if there is any modification inside the name so that will do the update. If the value is not in the target but uh, the value id id suppose if I insert some value like 3. So 3 is not to here. So 3 uh, not in the target but in the source so that will do the insert operation but what if if I just inserted if uh, there is some values so suppose if I insert uh, add here insert into tzt1 so suppose if I am going to insert the value Mike and Nikki okay so id is the same now so add here this is the primary key violation cannot insert duplicate so let's do one thing in target table i'm going to enter the value oh so in target table let's check that first record so 157 now here after i'm going to insert add here oh uh, six and giving add here the name Leon 
Now here I'm going to insert so folders affected. See the record inside. So add here escort one. Everything is same. John, I just inserted six ID with name Leo. Now if you perform this query, so there is a no any delete operation delete operation at this point. So it won't delete anything inside target ever. So it was follows affected. Now see the records here. Yeah. So see at here. Uh, this is the source table and here this is the target table record. So these are the things about to uh, merge statements. So we can perform uh, insert, update, and delete operation in merge uh, by using merge statement. So delete operation is the optional part. And here one more thing. Here you must give a semicolon to end. Otherwise you get the message merge statement must be terminated by semicolon. So this is the point. And here. So I hope guys this video is helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next video. Thank you.